Welcome back. I'm so happy you're joining me for another video and if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you and thanks for joining our community. I'm Lucy, your narrator. But before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please kindly take a moment right now and click that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be alerted of every time I upload a new video. And also please watch this video to the end to see the preview trailer and some behind the scenes photos. Now join me at the old time drive-in movie theater where it feels like we're all watching this movie together. Someone please pass the popcorn. <laughs> now for our feature presentation. This is another one of my all time favorites Marty. It's a drama and romance movie that won four Oscars. It was released in the USA in 1955 and it stars Ernest Borgnine and Betsy Blair. And some of their co-stars were Esther Minciotti, Joe Mantel and others. The movie is about a middle-aged butcher and a school teacher who have given up on the idea of love. They meet at a dance and fall for each other. And now for some behind the scenes trivia and tidbits. The film, which cost only $340,000 to make and generated rentals of $3 million at the domestic box office, reportedly was one of the most profitable movies ever made. And the street scene behind the opening credits is Arthur Avenue at 187th Street in the Bronx, in front of the city of New York's old Arthur Avenue retail market under a billboard sign for Knickerbocker Beer, an actual New York City brand. So brewed by the Rupert Brewing Company, the family business of Colonel Jacob Rupert, over owner of the New York Yankees from 1915 through 39, also known as the Bronx Bombers, which is where the film is set. And the most prominent uncredited role was Ralph, played by Frank Sutton, who was later famous for his role of Sergeant Vince Carter on Gomer Powell USMC in 1964 a military-themed comedy that was a ratings competitor from 1964 through 66 to the military-themed comedy which Ernest Borgnine starred on McHale's Navy in 1962. And Betsy Blair, who played Clara, was almost not permitted to do the film by Heck Lancaster Productions and United Artists due to the 1950s Hollywood blacklist. However, Jean Kelly, her husband at the time, basically blackmailed a United Artist and had Lancaster into casting her at the last minute by threatening not to direct or star in any of UA's or Hecht's Lancaster production if she was not cast in the role. And Delbert Mann had no idea who to cast in the lead role, so he asked his friend Robert Aldrich. And Aldrich immediately suggested Ernest Borgnine. Mann was skeptical as Borgnine was only known for playing heavies, but Aldrich convinced him. And Borgnine regularly said that he owed his career to Robert Aldrich. And when reading for this part, Ernest Borgnine moved both screenwriter Patty Tchaikovsky and director Delbert Mann to tears. When Borgnine had finished his read-through, both Mann and Tchaikovsky knew that they had found their Marty. Patty Tchaikovsky, the character of Leo, who appears in the back of the car, when Marty is approached by his friends to make up the pair for the odd squirrel they have with them, according to Delbert Mann Tchaikovsky, who was once a moderately renowned stage actor, was recruited for the very visually obscured 
part solely to save the time and money of hiring an extra. According to Tchaikovsky, for his three lines, he was required to rejoin the Actors' Union, which required dues of $140. He recalled the role as paying only about $67. And the film was such an unexpected box office hit that United Artists had to order 200 additional prints to meet demand. What do you feel like doing tonight? I don't know, Angie. What do you feel like doing? Marty, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. All your kid brothers and sisters married and got children. When are you going to get married? Nice a place where we can go to get a bride? Tell them to go to the Stardust Ballroom. It's loaded with tomatoes. Why don't you go to the Stardust Ballroom? It's loaded with tomatoes. It's loaded with what? Tomatoes. Excuse me, miss, but would you care to dance? Well, you're a very nice guy. I don't know why some girl hasn't grabbed you off long ago. All my brothers, they're always telling me what a good-hearted guy I am. I have a feeling about you. Marty gets married, huh? I don't like her. Oh, you don't like her. You only met her for two minutes. Listen, well, you want to come with me tonight? You want to go with that dog? All I know is I had a good time last night. What am I, crazy or something? I got something good here. You don't like her. That's too bad. If you like that one, we've got a lot more. Hotter than your morning coffee. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you would please kindly give me a like, comment below, share with others, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell to be alerted of every time I upload a new video. Please come back to see the next one. Until then, bye for now, and be blessed.